Hey, how's it going, everyone? Let's play some Slay the Spire. So we're on Ascension 20 like usual here with the defect, and let's let's give it a go. All right, well, what you got for us? Transform three potions, a curse for 14 hit points, or a random boss relic. Well, I could always transform a strike, but I don't know how impactful that is. Map. Um, let's look at our pathing. See what we need. Boy, it's a lot of hallway fights. We're going to be getting a lot of cards. Alright, so it looks like I'm going to probably take this path to do a fire before the elite. And then we get this chest. But then we have to take an... Well, then we have to take another elite. Without a fire. Let's see. This path has two fires. Three fires. And it's the slime boss. So we only get two fires on that side. Maybe then we take this elite and then take a fire chest fire elite yeah two elites three fires like this to this elite and then gosh this is going to be pretty brutal and so sometimes I think to myself When I get a brutal path, sometimes you need to take extreme measures. So, I don't know if transforming a card is going to be significant enough. I'm going to take a, a Brandon Boss Relic. Oh, holy smokes. Okay, so we got Sneko for the first Relic. This will be interesting. Um, Sneko is... Report, you know, purported to be excellent by Jorbs and, you know, many other players, I assume. Um, I'm still not that great with it. This deck does not like it so much because everything costs one. So sometimes we can get a discount, but other times we're going to be sitting here with, like, a def basic defend that costs three energy. So... That stinks. However, what it means is that we get the opportunity to try to get cards that are really expensive and exploit the discount. So now that that is the case, I might want some more hallway fights to be able to get cards that I can use with the Sneko. So maybe I take this chunky path up to this elite. This is kind of crazy. I probably will lose too many hit points. This will be easy, 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 and then we're on a hard one already, and we get no break. We could go up here and get a break here, take this elite, but then um, maybe what we want to do is still continue with the path that we were on like this, and then we do get a bunch of cards later in the run. Maybe we can find a, an expensive card at this shop. Let's see what we do. Right, see? Every single one of my cards is more expensive than normal, meaning I can only play one card for this whole turn. And because I swapped the boss relic for my starter relic, I can't even dual cast... Yeah, this is going to be a doozy. We'll see if we can turn the corner with this. Okay, here we go. The Sneko giveth, and the Sneko taketh away. 
<laughs> That's pretty hilarious. We will not kill this guy, but we can we can block really well. So it went from like the worst Sneko hand to a really good Sneko hand. We'll get there. Eventually. Goodness gracious. Fire potion is terrific. Steam barrier is nigh on useless. Um, it can only generally get more expensive. Sweeping beam is okay, even though it does cost just one. All right. So we can get fun stuff right here. Um, I'll just take an Equilibrium because it's the only card that costs two. Can't afford anything else except to go for the eyes and I normally love go for the eyes, but not with a Sneko. Yeah, we're gonna try to get a relic. Okay, cool. We get a we get a flower. All right. Well. Of course, my equilibrium was not discounted that time. Pretty pretty silly, but still it's just a good enough card to carry us in a fight like this. All right, here's Sneko doing Sneko. Okay. All right, we win. Aw, my, my relic. Be nice to have timed that out for the elite fight, but yes, now this is what I'm talking about. This is the kind of card you want with Sneko. This is, these are unreal cards um, for right now in Act 1. Love these cards. But we're going for the the extreme discount. I'm going to buy three potions and pick the best two. Hmm. Um. No, my potions are better. I picked the best one. All right, who are we getting? Okay. All right, so we will equilibrium, strike, strike. And next turn, we should be able to kill this guy with a fire potion and then use our entropic brew. Fill up our potions, see what we got. Oh, buddy. You see? All right, Sneko. All right. <laughs> uh, Sunder. Sunder for zero, just giving you three energy. Anything less than three, if it gives you extra energy, is just ridiculous. All right. Defend. Defend. And strike. I'm actually just going to kill this guy right now, so I don't get any more dazed. And, um just try and win the fight right out. Aww. Bam. Oh boy. Well, Ascender's Bane is going to give us some randomness. Now we want to draft cards that um, I'm just going for high value, high Price cards, basically. High energy cost cards at this point. And Equilibrium is a good card anyway. Um, but 
We want cards to exhaust. We're looking for those. Do I want to retain this hand? Not really, to be honest. I don't want to have a, you know, a zap that's that expensive. I think I'll just bop this guy and move on. Dead Branch gives us Reprogram. Well, actually, Reprogram is genius with this deck. I'm not using my Entropic Brew. I'm going to save it for if I need a potion, because if I get a potion, I want to have a space for it. Like this. Um, Hello World is cool. I'm going to get another fire before this elite, so let's go ahead and upgrade something. I think upgrading Sunder makes the most sense because it gives us a better chance to get the energy back with some, like, huge hand that we've kept with um, Equilibrium. You know, we have, like, some 10, 9 or 10 card hand. Well, 10's not possible, but, yeah, just some huge hand. And then we play this and then get three extra energy if it's discounted. Zap, upgrading Zap and um, Dual Cast is pretty much pointless. Ooh, money. Meat on the bone. Chomp, chomp, chomp. All right. Now, let's see I fight Gremlin Knob here. Just, I think Sunder carries me through that fight. I'm just debating, like, do I want to rest? I do have a meat on the bone, but I don't want to die. Now, in terms of cards that I can upgrade, what would be a premium upgrade? An equilibrium? Was it go to 16? Yeah. It's not that huge of a deal. I'm just going to rest. Okay, we get like a bullet. Okay. I'll go ahead and hello world and pass. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, this is ridiculous. Okay. Drink blessing of the forge. Okay, now that's an interaction I was not aware of. I don't understand what just happened. Um, I drank Blessing of the Forge, which upgrades all your cards, but I didn't know that it was going to reduce the cost of so many of them. I mean, Recursion and Zap do go down to zero. So does upgrading them instantly make them... Or does Blessing of the Forge reduce their cost? I don't know what ha happened, but now my hand is... even more insane. Um, so I'm actually going to play Equilibrium to keep these cards for next turn's blocking. And then we'll get something with Dead Branch. Well, we get a Steam Barrier, but luckily... 
it's actually the advertised price. All right, so we can dual cast and then strike. I can also just do this and this. Um, I'll hold on to stack. No, I don't get to hold on to it, so play this. That's pretty good. And then we'll just do this. Take one damage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Uh, yeah. Ah, cool. All right, so honestly, maybe Scrape would work in a way where I get to draw three cards and if Sneko makes them zero, I get to keep them. But because it only costs one, it's not that tempting. Now, Rebound, I need to understand better about how Sneko works. But if I get a card that costs zero, that's been reduced, and I rebound it, does it cost a reduced cost or does it get a new cost randomized i think it gets a new cost so i don't know how useful any of these would be so i'm not going to take one i'm going to actually go to this shop instead of you know all those hallway fights okay well glacier is getting purchased every every time here And then I think what I'll do is actually remove a card. Um, I think I'll just remove a strike. Something like that, that I don't want to see. You know what, though? Dual cast, well, maybe later dual cast will be worthwhile. Yeah, fine. We'll remove a strike. Still not a card that I really am super excited about, even at zero. All right. So we get a free Hello World. And yeah, with Glacier, Dual Cast does become better than it has been. And we'll just Glacier. Oh, look at these shenanigans. All right, so he's going to do 18, but I have a lot of ways to, well, I'm going to split him, actually, right? So let's sweep Sunder and see what else we can do. Mm, not much. All right. Yeah, we need to make sure we have enough damage to split the slime boss so that he doesn't just beat us into oblivion. Um, okay. Let's get the dead branch going. Alright. Well, let's sweep. Very nice. Um, I am going to... See, I don't know if these costs persist or not. Or this if it's just remembering the, the costs that they were. I'm going to see how it works. I'm going to just test out Scrape here. So, because my hand was so full, but I did it did work with Equilibrium. Like, I got a zero-cost Equilibrium from Scrape. So that's kind of interesting interaction to to bear in mind. Okay. 
<laughs> I'm gonna spend all my energy to kill this guy. And he wants to do 10. Well, luckily, I have all kinds of zero cost defend cards. All right, let's find some damage. Mm, that's not damage. Almost dead. I think. Yeah. Okay. Sweet potion of capacity is just great. This is fun. Um, it stinks that it costs zero. But it might be good, like, in an emergency situation. And the other thing is it exhausts, so it, it activates Dead Branch. So I am going to take it, even though it costs zero and could just cost a billion and I don't ever play it. But I'm going to try it. I'm just going to experiment with stuff. I'm going to use this run as, like, my Sneko experimentation run. Um, okay. So, well, these free equilibriums are just so nice. My hand is full. Okay. I don't really need any of this stuff, so I'm not going to equilibrium. Anyway, mm. I think I would rather have, well, you know what, what card would I really want to duplicate, Sunder? Yeah, it's pretty much just Sunder. And you know, another Sunder. Alright, so... This is an opportunity to upgrade a card. I'm just going to have a bunch of damage ready for this slime boss. I might play this right now. Triggers Dead Branch. Mm hmm. All right, so I think if I duplicate this, we do sixty four. Which does not split yet, but sets us up to potentially do that next turn. Three damage from this. So this would take him down to 80, 77. No, I can't do that. I don't want to split him. Oh, very nice. All right, cool. Let's make this as easy as humanly possible on us. Do this. Do that. Um, and I'm just gonna put Hello World over Biased Cognition. No, I'm not. So we'll have two 21s. Okay. Dead branch fun. Dead branch insanity.
Alright. Six energy. Out of nowhere. Dead branch. Draw me a card. Mm-hmm. Can we block the damage from this guy? I don't know. We got it! Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, we're taking this every day of the week because um, if it gets reduced, which it most likely will, it's so powerful. Um, and if we can't play it, it dead branches. You know what? It's, it's either Pandora's Box or Astrolab. I think I'm going to take Pandora's Box. Because Astrolab... is better because it upgrades the cards. But I don't want any strikes or defense. I want all chances for better stuff oh boy so multicast is kind of fun because it's always it's x so it never messes around a cheaper fusion would be great a third sunder is funny this, this isn't the best i mean boot sequence um i'm wondering because it's innate if you, because you start with it in your hand, if that doesn't count as drawing it, so Sneko doesn't tamper with its cost. If it, if Sneko doesn't mess with its cost, then I'm happy with this. Anyway, this should be exciting. This is a hilarious run, and we're fighting the champ. All right, so Echo Form should do some work. So we are just having this ridiculous we've got some extremely powerful relics meat on the bone dead branch sneko eye we even have a happy flower we have um omomori to insulate us against some of these events that want to deal us curses so we're in a very very interesting spot but i like our spot um i have a s small deck that has I mean, extreme value. If I'm just chucking out 32 for like, you know, zero energy and then getting energy back, oh goodness. Now, the only thing is, Sunders, while they are good, um, you know, after a while you stop being able to out damage people and you need to defend, but I do have the Glacier. So we'll just try to bolster up our defenses a bit and see how this goes. Oh, that's right. We also got two Equilibriums, which are super helpful. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Slay the Spire here on Ascension 20 with the Defect. We got a Sneko, and it looked really dangerous on that first round of the first fight, and then everything else has been just a Sneko party. So let's see if we can keep this Sneko party going against the champ in Act 2. If you guys enjoyed this video and you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, could you please do so? I'd really appreciate it. Hope you have an excellent evening or day. If you've got any good comments or suggestions or feedback for how to, you know, mistakes I've made, ways to get better at the game, please put them in the comments below, and I'll check you guys in the next one. Take care.